right guys now the next formula we need to worry here is cos 2 d the formula it goes like cos of uh, a plus b the formula is cos a cos a cos b right yeah cos a cos b minus sine a sine b right now if at all i change b to a i get cos of a plus a that is cos 2a and that logo goes like cos a and cos a that is cos a in a cos a minus sine a in a sine a that goes like cos squared a minus sine squared a cool and that we have is cos 2a all right now I'm just deriving this so that you guys can by heart this or remember it and at least know how it basically comes from all right now cos 2 theta can also be written as what cos 2a can be written as if I can substitute for cos squared a it goes like 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a all right so what happens here 1 minus sine squared a and minus sine squared a, 1 minus 2 sine squared a and that's what we have that is cos 2a all right so this is one of the formulas we know okay based on this can i make problems let's just check if at all i have cos 2a cos 2a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared a yes so can i put cos on the other side that is 2a is cos inverse of 1 minus 2 sine squared a yes all right now based on this guy all right based on this guy let's say i have a question like y is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus 2x squared so can i solve this guy and who is x here if I can take x as sine theta, that exactly like that, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, which is nothing but cos 2 theta, with cos and the cos can actually cancel up. Or what is that? Is there in our head or in the mind to solve this, guys? This whole thing has to become cos of something so that the cos and the cos inverse would cancel out, right? So, what should I substitute x as? This problem was basically generated from this formula, all right? That is cos 2a formula. Now, let us see this is what i came up with now let's say this is my problem right so if i can take x as a sine theta see what happens to my problem y is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus 2 sine squared theta and it looks like what cos inverse of 1 minus 2 sine squared theta the formula is cos 2 theta and i can see that y is cos and cos is gone 2 theta and who is theta theta is taken from here theta can be written as a sine inverse of x yes use it here so y is 2 sine inverse of x differentiate this guy see what you get i differentiate y is equal to 2 sine inverse of x it is 2 and 1 by root of 1 minus x y that's my answer that's dy by dx that's it one single step of differentiation just all is trigonometry all right and we should know how the problem was generated which formula was used okay it is this formula here all right so i can say this would be the formula from where i could generate a question like this so what can be the more general form of this let us write here let us write here it's, it, this word is called a part of this particular thing if it is y is equal to cos inverse of i write 1 minus 2x squared all right so this is how i could do that problem right i just take x as sine theta now what if it is like y is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus 2 into any function whole squared then the function should become a sine theta and the whole thing inside should become cos 2 theta let's do a problem this if this was my question okay uh, let's say it is like it is like uh, y is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus 2 and let's say tan x here whole squared right instead of this function i have a tan x if it is x squared i took directly as what x as sine theta in this case i have some function okay i will take that function as sine theta so i'll take uh tan x is sine theta so what happens to my problem it looks like y is equal to cos inverse of one minus two sine squared theta and i know this formula right that is cos inverse of this formula is similar that is 2 cos 2 theta so what happens now cos and cos gone get 2 theta who's theta back theta comes from whatever substitution i take that is like put sine on the other side so theta would be sine inverse of tan x see what happens so that becomes 2 it is sine inverse 
of tan x. So can I differentiate this guy? 2 is a constant. Sine inverse differentiation is 1 by root of 1 minus whatever is inside the whole square, that is tan x, the whole square, into differentiation of tan x, that is secant squared x. And that's all the problem is. All right? So based on this formula, that is cos 2 theta formula, all right, or I can just write the formula here. Based on, let's say I write uh, cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Based on this, I can get two questions, which is cos inverse of 1 minus 2x squared or cos inverse of 1 minus 2 any function whole squared. If it is not tan x, and let's say it is e power x, then e power x should become sine theta and substitution. What is sine theta then? Sine inverse theta is sine inverse of e power x, correct? That's it. This remains same because uh, instead of e power x, I just took sine square theta, all right? So I get the same thing. This guy becomes cos 2 theta, cos cos is gone, theta. Who's theta back? This is theta. So in the case of tan, I have e power x, and here I'll have e power x when I'm differentiating this guy. And I'll differentiate e power x is what? e power x itself. So I can do enormous number of problems which are ours in these two purple types. So remember these general forms, okay? So they can ask, they can fill anything here, anything here. So whatever is filled here, you need to take that thing as sine theta and the whole general format follows. Keep that in mind. Okay, now let's go ahead and see is there anything else which can be asked in sine or cos 2 theta formula, right? Cos 2 theta can be also written as this is one of the forms. Cos 2 theta can also be written as 2 cos squared theta minus 1. This is another formula. All right. How does this come? Let's see. Cos theta, we already know that cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, isn't it? Now, in this case, let me substitute for sine squared. That is cos squared theta minus of 1 minus uh, cos squared theta. That looks like cos squared theta minus 1 plus cos squared theta. That goes 2 cos squared theta. Minus one. Okay, that's how it comes. So I can see that cos 2 theta can also be written as 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Correct? So it can also be written as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Here are the two forms. If my question is this, or if my formula is this, based on this formula, can I do something? So let me write the formula here. I'm just writing 2 cos squared theta minus 1. All right, based on this formula, if I put cos on the other side, it means 2 theta is what? Cos inverse of 2 cos square theta minus 1. If I take cos theta, all right, I would just write my question as, let's say y is equal to cos inverse of 2 times x squared minus 1. See, this guy and this guy are almost similar, right? Cos inverse outside, cos inverse outside. It is 1 minus 2x squared, so I took x as sine theta. In this case, I'll take x as cos theta y, because this is based on this formula, all right? This form. So let me see what are the types we we can actually write from this there are two types basically this question okay that is uh, y is equal to cos inverse of 2x squared minus 1 can be one of it let us solve this anyway is y is equal to cos inverse of 2x squared minus 1 i'm taking x as cos here that's 2 cos squared theta minus 1 that goes like cos inverse of this guy is cos 2 theta all right so what happens here now? I can see that cos and cos is out. The y is equal to 2 theta. Now who's theta? Theta from here. Put cos on this side. Theta would be cos inverse of x. Yep. So can I write this to the cos inverse of x? Now differentiate. dy by dx is what? 2 into minus 1 by root of 1 minus x squared. That's all is the answer. This is one of the typical forms where you have uh, 2x squared minus 1. Substitution of x is what? cos theta. Now, what is the next formula or next type? Y can be written as cos inverse of 2 into any function whole squared minus 1. This is based on the same formula again, that is uh, cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared minus 1. Here, instead of x, I have a function. So how do you solve these problems? Let's check. All right. Let's say my question is y is equal to cos uh, inverse of 2 times any function minus 1. All right, this guy. So let's talk the function is, uh, this time let's take it as mm, a log x itself, all right? So what happens? So I need to take this whole thing, log of x as cos theta, not sine theta this time, it's cos theta, simply because of this formula, all right? See what happens here. 
if I can do this, I'll get y is equal to cos inverse of two, uh, two times cos squared theta minus one, which looks like cos inverse of cos uh, two theta, yep. And this is gone, and I'll get y is equal to two theta. Who's theta? From here, you get theta. That is, theta is cos inverse of log of x, isn't it? See, very simple. It's all the general formats, and they are all originated from one of the formulas of uh, trigonometric. All right, so keep that in mind. Now, who's theta? That is, two times cos inverse log x. Can I differentiate this? Use a chain rule, so dy by dx, 2 is out like that, minus 1 by root of 1 minus log x, the whole square. This is the differentiation of cos inverse. And inside cos inverse is log x. So instead of x, I'm writing log x, right? I got to differentiate this into d by dx of log x. And so what happens here? It goes like dy by dx is just 2 into minus 1 by root of 1 minus log x the whole squared into 1 by x and that's it all right so i can write uh, i can say that for cos 2 theta there are two formulas that is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta based on this i can write two typical types that is 1 minus 2 x squared directly or instead of x any function i can do this all right again cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared minus 1 here also i can write two forms 2 x squared minus 1 or 2 any function squared minus 1 like that let's say I have a question where I don't have log x here. I'm writing another question. So let's say this guy is uh, e power x. So what happens? e power x would become cos theta, right? And what is theta then? Theta would be cos inverse of e power x. And from here, it's all the same. Look at this. e power x is cos theta, so I'll get cos square theta. This square is here. So it goes like that, like that, and theta back again from there. So that would be e power x. I'm not even doing the whole problem again. I'm just replacing log from e power x. If anything else comes, let's say tan x comes here. Instead of e power x, I just need to write tan x in the whole procedure. So what happens here? Instead of log, I get e power x. I get e power x. And here, it is e power x. And how do you differentiate e power x? Answer is e power x itself. That is all about it. If you can identify the typical type, then it becomes really easy for you guys to solve this in the examination.